Have you ever wondered what we do with our slab wood? Some of you may not even know what slab wood is in the first place. Stick around as we tell you what we do with this highly unprofitable sawmill waste. We make some money. Yeah, we do. Oh Satan, oh Satan, please leave me alone. I'm going to see Jesus in my heavenly home. Pipe, oh, pounded on it like that. So what'd you do, boss? I wrecked it. I wrecked it when I fixed it. Some people assume that we handle the entire process from logs to lumber. Even though rarely on occasion, we do harvest our own logs, for the most part, we buy them from local loggers and land clearing experts. In the wintertime, we no longer cut hardwoods like oak. We substitute them for softer species like basswood, aspen, and even white pine. Slabwood is a byproduct of those initial cuts we make on the logs to square them up. So as you can see, there's typically about four pieces of slabwood removed from each log. Now after the log is squared up, we roll the slab wood onto the chains to the end where they're stacked in a bump. Now this is what we call our edger. Some of the pieces of lumber that still have a live edge on them will be ran through our edger to square them up. These pieces are then stacked up in a separate pile to be used as baseboards for our pallets that we sell. CalebHouse.org. Caleb House is a nonprofit organization that is building a facility to house victims of trafficking. So, if you got a minute, go ahead and check them out. CalebHouse.org. They need all the help that they can get. Now the pieces that are too small for slab wood bundles, they go into crates, they're either sold to our customers or burned in our boiler that heats our shops. We're trying to make bigger bundles this year and that helps to provide more value to the customer. And of course, I can't make a decent video without something happening. Well, bro. Another thing broke. I know, but I got it. Well, we got problems again. The weld on the log deck broke. Looking like we gotta weld something up again. Look at that. Man of the moment. What'd you break, Kyle? What did you break? I didn't break anything. It was Luke. Luke? Yes. Oh, this guy. Let's interrogate him. What'd you do, Luke? I didn't do it. Ah! What? The, well, then somebody's got to blame. We got to blame yeah, somebody somebody's here. Somebody's getting the blame for this. Well, it's important that we assess blame. Is it a head here. roll, Kyle? Is that what's got to happen, or what? Head rolls? Yeah. No, that's... <laughs> See what we can do here.
siempre. Any progress? Uh, I'm questioning if that pipe is even big enough for this pen. It is. It's just that bent. All right, hold on. Let's get down. See if the pen will fit in that hole. <laughs> Probably bent it way too much. Oh, here. More than one way to skin a cat. and then cap it in. Oh, problems. Probably, uh, bending this problems in paradise. Yeah, we're breaking that off now. Here you go. What'd you do, boss? I find a big bolt and we just stick it in there and then it'll get us by for days and we'll have to get it. Pipe, we can pound it on it like that. So what'd you do, boss? I wrecked it. I wrecked it when I fixed it. Well, I pounded on that round pipe that the pin slides through and I bent it enough that we can't get the pipe in anymore. So, I gotta go find a bolt. Well, I got good news. Yeah? I sold two walnut slabs today. Oh, good. The guys came and got that tiger maple slab oh, good. and then they bought two more walnut slabs I got yelled at in the morning and sold by the after b before noon this will work pal what is it show it to me three quarter inch bolt did you order the snow uh no Hey John, how you doing? Good, and yourself? Oh. <laughs> I just got done cutting some cherry, one cup of cherry logs. Got a pile of those. I'm gonna start on some white oak. Oh nice. You back there cutting right now? I can pick up cherry. Then it's not a great weld, but at least it won't break until I get the other part fixed. So that's my plan anyway. Here at K&J, after we bundle up the slabs, it's up to the customer to come pick it up. Sometimes we also do deliveries. I'm going to show you how we load the bundles onto the truck and then slap it on the booty and send it on its way. What are we doing today? A bunch of soft wood and then a bunch of soft and two bundles of hard next one. How many bundles can we fit on the truck? We could fit six bundles on the truck. So what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you on a delivery? There's a few. I mean, you can slide off the road, you can have the truck slide out, put your dump in it. Get into an accident, run, run into an old lady, an old lady. rear end an old lady. You can. Yeah, how long have you been doing deliveries? Probably about four years. Four years? Good time. A little over six years here. I'm about to show you how I cut up slab wood bundles at the Baker household. So one of the things I do before I get started cutting up the wood is I get it on blocks off the ground. I set it down. Not everyone can do that, but I happen to have machines. 
So I get it up off the ground so I don't dig my chain into the ground. That's a sad story when you hit the dirt. The other thing I like to do is there are bands holding the bundle tight, but I take a third band that I can tighten as I go. I just take a big ratchet strap and I tighten. I'll make a few cuts, I'll tighten a little bit. That way I can keep cutting it all the way down to the center without the bundle wanting to kind of flail out and fall apart. We'll get started. Any questions, Kyle? How do you start a chainsaw? Oh, well, this, particular, this is an older saw, but I love this saw. So I got to hit the decompression valve. I usually pull the choke, but I actually had this saw running earlier, so I knew it would run. And then I got just got to pull the recoil and have it off. So first thing I'm going to do before I actually cut, I'm going to trim up the end to get it nice and square, and then you'll notice I'll Thank start you. working my way in. So what do you think there, boss? Well, she's all cut up. You want to talk about being able to cut up wood fast. I mean, that's half a quart of firewood. Some of it, you know, we got to run through my, I have a little splitter here that we run split, but I mean, a lot of this, this is perfect for burning in a wood stove. Look at that. What could you ask for? So, yeah. yeah, what a great deal. That's a pretty affordable option. Yeah, and fast. A lot of people don't even know about it. They and think... you know what? I'm fortunate enough to have a family of children and I can put them to forced labor. It's great. <laughs> they can now all stack all this wood and take care of it for me. <laughs> he doesn't really actually, for, for, rep, for, uh, as a disclaimer, it's yes, not I really do. forced. Yes, I do. Okay. They don't get dinner until they finish this. Oh story. my God. We're totally getting demonetized. We're not even monetized yet anyway, so I guess it don't matter. <laughs> now that you have an idea of what we do with our slab wood waste. But what do we do with the rest of the log? In this video, we show you why our pallets are better than everyone else's. Click here to watch our pallets video. But what would... Wow, there's a lot of cars. Yeah. But what do we do with the rest of the log? We throw them in front of cars that are on the highway. 